Hi, this is King, and this is The Daily Dose, brought to you by BeatClass.com, David and Goliath Music. Remember, it's like musical medicine, so make sure you take your meds every day. So today's question is, hey, I watched some of your vids on how to add automations, but I have a problem. Uh, the section where you uh, place the automation in the playlist isn't there, okay? The only thing I see is pattern one, pattern two, etc. How uh, do I open the part of the playlist where I place the automation? Okay. That is from McGurk FM. All right, now, that, that's a great question. Um, actually, I don't place it anywhere. When I right-click on the item that I want to create in Automation 4, FL Studio automatically places that envelope into the playlist. For example, here's a basic track I got right here. Okay, now, that track if I wanted to automate any function in it, all I need to do is go to the track that I want to automate. Now, it's very important that you separate each and every wave or each and every channel onto its own FX mixer track, right? This way you have greater control over your mix, right? I'm sure a lot of you know that, but again, there's a lot of people who don't. So hit play. All right, let's say I want to automate my bass. So I'll just solo that. And I want to automate the volume. So I will go to the volume lever, right click on that, left click on create automation clip, and you can see that it's automated, automatically added to the playlist. See, Now I can go to that and create points just by right clicking or we'll go to the point that I want. And I can push it up and down here to create greater volume or lesser volume. So what I'll do is left click and drag that point up or down with my mouse. Got it? So now, what you should hear is the up and down volume uh, change in my bass line. I don't want to do too much because bass lines don't need a lot of variation unless you're using it for effect and you want it to get louder constantly over time. This is going to show an up and down motion in the volume. Let me make it a little more dramatic so you can hear it. Again, I'm not actually teaching volume envelopes. I've been, I taught that already. But what I'm helping someone to see is that I don't place the envelope clip into the playlist. FL Studio does it automatically. So now playback. You hear how it gets lower and higher. And right here, you can see that volume going up and down. I also have another wave that is going up and down. All right, let's put it all back in there. That actually sounds pretty good. All right, so this has been today's Daily Dose. I am King, David and Goliath, musicbeatclass.com. Remember, it's like musical medicine, so make sure you take your meds every day. Peace. <laughs>